Okay, Stephen Key here, and once again, I have a special guest from, where do you live? India. Wow. And uh, you're an inventor? Yes, I'm an inventor. I'm a product developer, yes. Okay, so first of all, what is your name? Uh, my name is Siddharth, uh, so I'm, I'm known by the name Sid, popularly, and uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Sid7 Designs. Okay. So we are an invention company right now. So I started the journey all alone, but now we are a team, a bunch of people who are trying to get innovation into the hands of people, mechanical innovation, specifically mechanical inventions. That's what we do. Okay. So we talked a while back. It's been it's been it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. Some months. Uh, it's, I think it's been more than eight months. I think. Okay. And. Um, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your invention because it's very clever and you you saw a problem. So what problem did you see and how did you solve it? So the, the product, the name of the product is Drill Duster. So I would start with how I came up with the invention. So what, what the story behind the invention was. So one fine day when I, I was, uh, I, I just came across my bicycle, which was resting in the backyard and I wanted to hang it on the ceiling of my room. And as a DIY enthusiast myself, uh, I picked up the drill machine and started drilling some holes on the ceiling. During the process, some of the dust fell on my right eye, even though I was wearing eye protection, by the way. And I had an infection for about a week, um, had to see an ophthalmologist. And really thought, myself, why was there no solution to the problem of dust for the most used power tool in the world? I mean, the drill machine. I went to the internet, there were solutions. Of course, there always are solutions to every problem. But the solutions were very costly. So you needed to have a dust extraction unit with you. And even with a dust extraction unit, uh, the hose, you're, you're limited by the length of the hose that the vacuum cleaner gives you. And you can't really access the ceiling with the vacuum cleaner. And the other solutions were just not good enough. So I used my engineering to, to come up with the solution. It was not easy. I mean, uh, it's. I, I think everyone should know this, that the first thing that you draw on a paper is as good as nothing. It's it's absolutely no good. But the, the important thing is to just keep at it. So it started with a very vague idea. The product initially was rubbish. Frankly, it was rubbish. And then it went through stages. And I'll talk about it deta in detail later. But it went through stages, various stages, where we actually had interactions with the customer, with the end user, with companies like facility management companies. We have companies here in India who provide services like maintenance. So they, they, they come to your home and they provide you service for whatever service you require, for example, maintenance or improvement, home improvement services, and they do, do drilling on a regular basis. So we came in contact with these people. We collected feedback about one of the prototypes. So initially it was a prototype, we gave it to them. It was kind of a pilot, not really a pilot, but it was like product development with the customer itself. So it was not just product development inside just a small room, but we were in interaction with the customer himself. So that's where the product actually took a leap into being just an invention on a piece of paper to an actual product, which people could actually use and benefit from. Okay. So the big benefit is when you're drilling and all that dust can go in your eyes and you've got a a device that captures that that doesn't go in your eyes, right? I mean, it's really, it sounds, yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds simple, but it's really not very that simple. simple, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's actually very, very simple. So if I tell you, if I tell you what the concept is, you'll be like, wow, it, that's so easy that I mean, anyone can think about it, but it's, it's so subtle. It utilizes the motion and the energy that is already available by the drill machine. Does not require any motors or batteries, and creates its own vacuum. Okay. Magic. It's actually just mechanical engineering, not magic. But it's very simple. Very very simple. So basically, what the device is, it's. I can show you a prototype. So this is a prototype, but this is not. This is a sample from the injection molding. So this is not a prototype. This actually is a, pro a production. Uh, level product just the color is white and we sell it in gray so this is like one off piece which i have kept with me so so this is what the product is so it has a lid so what happens here is that you insert a drill machine uh, just consider this pin to be a drill bit with and my hand to be a drill machine you insert the drill machine from here and when you are drilling the hole 
you basically place the drill duster on the wall. There is a marking compass by which you can center the hole. And when you're drilling the hole, the drill machine itself rotates the spring. This spring, this spring rotates this impeller. And this impeller creates a vacuum that sucks in the dust. All the dust gets sucked in and it's collected here in this chamber. So it's, it's very, very, very simple. The challenge was to optimize the design because initially the concept was easy. The concept filing a patent is not that hard, really. It, it costs you money, but uh, really patents are not that hard to file. I mean, you can just think about anything that's unique, novel, has an inventive step, but it has to be useful, first of all. And then most important, you should be able to manufacture it. So the challenge was with the optimization of the design because initially some dust always came out and then there was a problem of sealing. There was a problem of the spring, the hardness and all these things were optimized. But again, the journey was not easy. Uh, it was bumpy, but it was satisfactory. Uh, really, right. really satisfactory. So Very right, right now they are real, real using this product in, in uh, out there in, in the real world. So very, very happy. Very smart design, by the way. Very smart. So, so Thank where you. are you today? Because I know you just launched. Are you selling those yourself? Is it online? Is it at the store? How can we find it? So we have two channels through which we sell right now. Uh, we just launched online on 27th December. So now, right now, we are available to uh, this product. The drill duster is available to buy online from our website in India. And in about a week, we'll be available in US as well. So basically, the product will be available for US customers to buy from our online uh, online website. And then we have an offline channel. As I told you, in India, we have a lot of facility management companies, a lot of companies which maintain buildings, societies. And these people have like, like, like these companies uh, on an average have around 1000 people who require a drill machine. And because they require a drill machine, they require a drill duster. So it's potentially a very uh, from these companies we we expect potentially very big orders we are already doing pilots with two of these players these are like big big players like like 900 so, million dollar valuation companies so who's doing the manufacturing for you where's that done we are doing them uh, we are doing the manufacturing ourselves uh, actually we are outsourcing the manufacturing we are doing the assembly ourselves so uh, the different parts, the different components, they get manufactured from different vendors. Injection, uh, most of the parts are injection molded and then the spring and the bearing, you basically just procure them uh, on a bulk uh, basis. And then we assemble them in-house. So basically we assemble everything in-house and then we pack it in and then we sell it. But uh, as I think we, I had a conversation with you earlier as well, the ultimate goal of our company, Set7 Designs, is to make inventions. It's not to sell just one product. And just like this one product, I have six more inventions. Uh, by the way, it's now a granted patent in India. At that time, it was not a granted patent. At that time, now it's a granted patent in India. And I have uh, three more pending patents in India. Different products, completely different products. So that's that's basically what, uh, what, uh, what the goal is. So why we are selling it online right now and why we are approaching companies is because again, this insight came from you as well, Stephen. So, uh, I commented on one of your LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn articles and you said you, you need to test it. So I basically went out there and right now the product is being validated in the market itself. So now I can go to a licensee, potential licensee and say that, listen, uh, people need this. People are actually using it. They realize that it's a problem. Dust is a problem. In developing countries, people don't really realize that the okay. dust from drilling can actually be a real problem inside the house. Okay. But now they know that. So uh, you won't, you, you'll be surprised. I mean, uh, we went to one trade fair in India and the response was immaculate. I mean, everyone who went through the stall, if 100 people went through the stall, at least 90 people, 98 people would turn around and come to us and uh, want to talk about this. Uh, talk, talk about uh, the drill duster to us. Like, what, what, what is the product? We had a small marketing video and brought out the message really clear. So okay. it, it's, it's, we're on, the, we're on our way. We're on our way. Very good. Well, thank you for coming on. And we're going to cut in uh, some videos. We're going to show your product. We'll put that in this video. But thank you very much. Okay.